Guys, it is going down this weekend at UFC 292 as Sterling defends his belt against Sugar Sean O'Malley. And my partners at DraftKings are offering an incredible deal for all new customers who sign up using my promo code SUNNEN. New customers can bet just $5 on any of this weekend's fights and receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. You can even use your bonus bets on DraftKings same fight parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including number of rounds and method of victory. Remember, DraftKings is the only place where you can bet same fight parlays. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry, you can still join in all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. So click on the link below and download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Colby was doing an interview and Colby said that John Jones kept him off the Madison Square Garden card. So that's interesting to me. That's interesting for a few reasons. Let's take that at face value. Okay, because there, there's a few moving parts here. What is going on with Colby and Leon? Now those two are gonna compete. And we got some rumors that it was gonna be Abu Dhabi or it was going to be MSG. And the more that time has gone by, I think we have some very calculated players involved there that were attempting to will something into existence. It, it doesn't look as though there was ever a commitment to, to be on either of those cards, but there is something pretty close, which is December. I think they're going to fight in December, but I don't know what's been holding that matchup. I, I could tell you on a personal level, it's not Colby, but I can't put it on Leon either. It could be a date issue. And when we did hear the report, and this was done by Schmo and Helen, like this this was good, solid information that Colby and Leon would either be. In October in Abu Dhabi, that's the Islam, that's the card that is alleging that Charles is gonna fight Islam. Or in November, which is the reality of Stipe versus John Jones. And Colby is now saying that Jones had him pulled. First off, if Jones did, that would be nothing more than Jones telling somebody, hey man, I don't want to fight on the same card as Colby. And don't forget, they don't get along. And if they're in a co-main situation, not to mention world title fights. So now you're sharing stages, right? You don't have to share a locker room. You don't have to share an airplane. You probably do have to share a hotel. You might be on the same bus. But when all of a sudden you're sharing a press conference with a nemesis, and he's not the nemesis that you're attempting to monetize business with. I mean, I would have loved it. That's just as a fan. I think that would have been so fun, but I can't blame John Jones. I just can't. If John would have said, it's not as though John pulled an ultimatum or put his foot down. He asked somebody, hey man, this dude comes at me a little bit hot. Is there somewhere else you could go? That would be a nice way. Perhaps I even just defended John Jones right there. But hold on. Before you think you tuned into the wrong channel, if they tried to put Colby and Leon on the Madison Square Garden card, that would be a red, glowing, flashing sign. They do not have confidence in that main event. Is it a confidence that that main event won't happen or that main event won't draw? It would be very interesting. But to double down on the MSG card with two world title fights, it's, it's a very interesting concept. Now, you got to understand, as I share my opinion, I give my retort to this entire subject that is operating <laughs> under the vein that I have accurate information to begin with, right? Like, the topic doesn't have to be interesting, or, or rather, the information doesn't have to be accurate for the topic to be interesting. There is still a very legitimate point there. And I can tell you in, in other instances, there has been a calculated effort to separate John Jones and Colby Covington. That's true. That is very true. And I love that Colby's finally speaking up about this fight. I mean, I really haven't heard anything from Leon. And when I have heard things from Leon, which are second and third hand, he sounds very positive, right? Sounds like he's very ready, committed to doing the fight. Ian Gary had put out something real interesting about this fight. Ian Gary had trained with Leon and paid him tremendous compliments. Ian Gary said the most beautiful things, which I didn't know Gary had in him, right? It's, 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 it's a miss in my calculation by Conor McGregor. 
the Connor never put somebody else over. It's important to do, in my opinion. You can even leave the weight class. You could even go to yesteryear. Right? It doesn't have to be a guy that you're ever going to see or you're ever going to compete with. It just has to be some guy that you put over so that when you go the other way, it looks a little bit more authentic. So Ian Gary, who largely drinks from that same bowl, comes out, says beautiful things about Leon, and buries Colby Covington. He buries him. But was that sincere? Or was that a player hedging his bet in a direction opposite of the field? The field of 170 pounders are going to either call out the winner of, and the winner of doesn't work. I mean, you'll see it happen all the time because it's what everybody else is doing. You'll see, that's not a good play. The winner of is not a good play. Hedge your bet, who's it gonna be? Get your troops, get all your followers, get all your messaging behind one guy. I don't know. Ian Gary's pretty smart. He said he thinks that guy is going to be Leon, but he took a lot of time to go after Colby. He also represents the first person I've ever seen publicly go after Colby. It's an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing that makes me think for an up-and-comer within the division who's ranked number 15, who's got a main card fight, is the KG veteran this weekend. Was he saying nice things about a fellow welterweight when he complimented Leon? Or... Was that the act as he was actually trying to build who he really thinks is going to win for a match for himself down the future against Colby Covington?